Hello dear ones, it's Alice, Time of the Stars. There was a time some years ago, maybe 11 years ago, when I was pursued by some beings. You might think of them as the velociraptors of the human world, you know, or or maybe the Tyrannosaurus Rexes of the human world. Some people call them the controllers, you know. Uh, in my own writings, I refer to them as multiple personalities, serial killers or antisocial personalities. Sometimes I call them spiritual adepts that have these particular features, velociraptor features. And uh, those people, 11 years or so ago, they controlled the world. And then we had the ascension process. At about that time, they, they began to lose control of the world, and the world re began to return to the realm of the angels. So, but back then, it felt like everybody on Earth was socked into mind control by the controllers, by the velociraptors or Tyrannosaurus rexes of the human realm. And they had a way of, if, they, if three or more of them concentrated on a human target, they had a way of triangulating the location of the person. And one of their favorite pastimes, as in Velociraptorville, was to stalk and terrorize and mind rape while sleeping and to eventually kill their victims. This is a kind of a game, like uh, um, a fatal Dungeons and Dragons game, you know. You can look it up on Meetup, Dungeons and Dragons, and see if in your location it's it's the fatal variant or the regular kind that might be interesting i'm suggesting steer clear of it steer clear of all that stuff or you might be marked as a as a victim anyway back then uh, because of interruptions in my sleep pattern due to mind rape while sleeping i i guess mind mining you know for incoming channeling and so forth by those sorts of people or beings perhaps on the astral plane or other planes who, who really wanted our information but for some reason their mechanisms, their energy systems were not set up to receive higher channeling. You know, they would, they would come in in the middle of the night and, and start dipping into the energy field and and stealing ideas, you know. It's a typical rep reptilian approach. And they, these people might have been what some people call reptoids or dinosauroids, which is not in itself bad, it's just very different from being a humanoid. <laughs> anyway, what was happening to me was a slow disintegration of everything I'd ever known before because the sleep deprivation leads to uh, a dreamlike experience of reality, something like a hallucination, you know, maybe a drug-induced hallucination, and it's it's very in easy to induce that kind of state by depriving, say, a prisoner of war of sleep. So, in a way, I felt I was a prisoner. I was a prisoner of the mind control of 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 people who weren't. Um, gifted with human values, you know. And so anyway, it's no longer happening for me. And if you find that it's happening for you right now in this solar maximum, I'd like you to know that there will come a time, if only you're able to survive in human form, there will come a time when it's no longer happening for you too. So, so be full of hope, be full of faith, and to know that God is with you and he will protect you you can use the 
timeline and dimensional optimization tool that I've given you, you can get out of any kind of mortal peril. Like they say in the movies, you know, timeline jumping, dimensional skipping. It's true. Okay. And to get back to the topic, I remember I finally figured out that the only way in this current alternate reality to escape from these triangulating velociraptor types was to get in my car and drive. You know, I had my credit card, I had my cat, I had a small suitcase, and I would get in my car and drive. And I would not select a location to drive to, I would just drive. I would change directions frequently, okay? And I'd, I'd finally, at the end of the drive, I would find a place where I could spend the night. I wouldn't even maybe know where I was. I wouldn't know the name of the town, you know? I wouldn't know in advance the name of the motel, right? But there I would spend the night and I would be safe for that night. And it occurred to me just now that this method of just having the faith that you'll get where you need to get to without actually knowing where the destination is, without making a plan in advance, you know, just knowing that wherever it is that you end up, that will be the safe place. Being certain that you're being guided, that you're being protected, that your ascension team is with you. Those those understandings are critical to the ability to timeline jump and dimensional shift, you know, because we are here in this particular reality, which we presume to be the place that is, which is completely untrue, you know. There are hundreds and hundreds of places where we might be right now and ways that we might address reality. Uh, emotional affects that we might have that might completely shift the reality. Um, the ability to move backward in time and forward in time in our own timeline. All these things involve great uncertainty. The same kind of uncertainty we face when we are confronted with triangulation by uh, an avid team of torturous velociraptor types, right? And so we have to get through that fearful dimension we, with the tools of faith and hope, the desire to benefit the world by staying alive, charity, right? Faith, hope, and charity. We have to, we have to grab these tools, and when we optimize our timelines and our dimensions through faith, hope, and charity, we can leap into the unknown and from there to a place that's better, to the optimum timeline, to the optimum dimension. See, we can find ourselves in a place we never knew we would be. We might have our cat with us. We might have our suitcase with us, but we might not need those. We ourselves, our own awareness, might find ourselves in the totally new and do this in a comfortable, happy manner by, by cultivating the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, you know? We need to have the confidence. We need to have the confidence that we can help the world by staying in form and that the optical illusion that we currently see is easily modified through divine intervention, you know? This is the ascensioneer's assumption that that can't be grasped by people that want to injure other people or get one up on other people or have power over the world, you know, because all of those assumptions involve contradiction of, of the virtues, the virtues that allow us to, to let the, the grace of God flow through us and create the infinite possibilities of timeline jumping, dimensional shifting, moving back and forth in the current reality and so forth. Okay, so that's all for now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, 
This is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. Come and visit me at my glorious website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. There you'll find, under Contents, the grand plan for my channelings, which are a very large amount. See you there. <laughs>